Okay guys, I am about to do a meal prep for you. It is 11 o'clock at night. And I go to bed at 11.30, but it's okay because my health is more important than my sleep. Okay, I gotta, I gotta get into this size 8 jeans, so I gotta stay up and do what I gotta do. If you're wondering why I didn't do it before now, is because um, I was procrastinating. So, there you have it. <laughs> all right so here I have and I have two packs I'm just showing you guys this one the other one is defrosting I have the thin sliced chicken breast and you just get it from your local Walmart I'm just going to saute it I'll show you guys step by step how I do that and then I have this pan my girl was telling me don't ignore it you know it's, it's vintage my girl was telling me about um how she roasts her broccoli on a pan and it tastes amazing so I'm gonna try that out so, just gonna dump the broccoli I'm meal prepping for the whole week okay so I'm just gonna use the whole bag of broccoli some people might use two bags but me I'm just gonna use one bag of broccoli there you have that okay so I'm gonna season it with good old great value olive oil well not season it but saturate it with the olive oil we got the Weber's what y'all know about these Weber's seasonings they got a whole bunch of them let me see I got a kicking chicken one over here too I think I'm gonna season my chicken with this one. Oh yeah it's almost gone but you know that'll work what is up with the focus okay focus focus all right, focus. I can't focus it, y'all, because um, my hand is on it. But I hope you get the picture. The Weber's, it's Weber's kicking chicken. So it's not a lot of that left, but that'll work for my thinly sliced chicken. And Lari's. See, I don't know about using a Lari's though, because I'm not using the. I'm not used to using Lari's on vegetables. So I think I'm just gonna do the Himalayan pink salt. And in goes the broccoli. Bye bye broccoli. Be safe. And, and don't y'all talk about how nasty this thing is. It was like this when we got it. Okay? Don't don't y'all do it. Don't y'all do me. Okay? <laughs> Alright, so we have a pot here and um good old trusty olive oil. Y'all see the chicken over there lonely. Okay. We just put a little bit in there because a little bit goes a long way. We put it on medium high. We, um, once it get, gets hot, it'll start moving around. You cook, you know. Then we just gonna season that chicken with some good old lorry. Y'all hear that sizzling? It's not the olive oil. I just washed the pan. But I'm just gonna season it. I know somebody gonna say that the sodium is high. Yeah, I like flavor. I'm gonna figure that out one day. I'm gonna figure out how to do flavor, how to do, you know, not so much seasoning. Maybe I'll just put a little bit of. Y'all, if I'm going to eat healthy, I, I can't, you know, I'm already, you know, leaving out bread and shit, you know, from the cheeseburgers. If I'm going to eat healthy, I, it's going to have to have a little flavor on it. I'm sorry. So, y'all just going to have to criticize me. Okay? As long as I'm able to fit in these good jeans. Oh, yeah. I said I was going to put the chicken one on there. See, I probably didn't need that much flavor. But, hey, whatever. Judge me, okay? Go right ahead. <laughs> it's okay. But, um... When I get in these jeans, y'all gonna be like, what you do? I'm showing you, you see? Might have high blood pressure, but it's all right. I'm gonna be, you know, skinny. <laughs> or not skinny, you know, comfortable in my jeans. All right, we just letting that heat up. And since I have y'all on here in real time for me, we just gonna, gonna put it up. Oh, there we go. You know, we just gonna grab a fork. not sizzling yet because the grease wasn't hot but I opted to do it um, to cook it on the skillet because I believe baking it would make it too dry because look how thin this chicken is y'all I don't know if I showed y'all but that's how thin the chicken is you can't bake chicken that thin and then it's 99% fat free so that's amazing right 
all right look at that that's them good seasonings them good weather seasonings you see that yes hunty yes i'm way too excited about cooking but i'm excited about eating healthy i'm excited about being a better version of me and being in a better gene size although the tin is good i you know i want to be able to be comfortable when i eat then i might be able to stop that but, you know this is good you know slim thick with your cute ass is good for me then you just let it cook it shouldn't take that long to cook you just flip it on each side i'm gonna let it cook on this side for a little while and then i will show you guys the finishing result okay now it's just about done cooking and you see that that good seasoning right there on the pan mm -hmm. that ain't nothing it'll come on but y'all see what i'm talking about how if i can zoom in and focus and there it is <laughs> y'all see how the garlic how this uh weber's Roasted garlic and herb seasoning. That was a tongue twister. Not quite, but you know. Y'all see how it has like actual garlic in it? You see that? That's joke. So I don't even have to use my real garlic. My real garlic's sitting right here too. You gotta keep some garlic because you gotta get your heart together. Excuse my ratchet nails. But um, yeah. So that's what I'm talking about like it's real garlic it, it actually it is real garlic because it's burning up like real garlic in this pan look at this y'all if you cook with real garlic you know what I'm talking about so I'm gonna turn my fire down my fire fire down <laughs> I'm too excited y'all and I kind of like to give mine like that glaze on the top so I let it cook for a while um you know you have to be a little careful not to dry the inside of the chicken out because it's actually done it took about 10 minutes not even probably about five minutes to cook this whole thing because like i said it's so thin you guys can see how thin it is yeah turn it to the side it disappears yeah that's it yeah. and we are done so meal prep 101 you know, if you're not used to meal prepping, here we go right here. Came to YouTube for some information. That's how you meal prep, right there. You get your container. You put your protein in here. And I'm going to put my vegetable over here. My broccoli. And then I do this, repeat this step about five times, and I have a meal. Once the broccoli is done, I will show you guys the finished product. Okay? All right okay y'all here we go meal prep is on that one right there got a little burnt and you know the broccoli's a little crispy but whatever it works it's not about taste well it's, it's sort of about taste it's not all about taste it's about fitting them jeans okay well thanks for watching guys and i hope i was able to help somebody if you have any questions you know what to do comment them below and peace <laughs>